Hi everyone, it's me Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been um, a while. <laughs> um, and that is because I moved. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes wild. Should I have showered before this? Yes. Should I have gotten better lighting? That would also be a yes. But instead of that, we're just gonna not. So, in this video, I am going to be doing my doing, going through my closet and getting rid of stuff, conmarrying, if you will. And I'm gonna make this a series of conmarrying my whole um, new apartment. Now, should I have done this? before I moved so I didn't have to pack everything? Yes. Did I? No. So we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it now and you're gonna do it with me. So let's do it. Okay, hi everyone. So here I am and I'm going to, oh my god, <laughs> here I am and I'm going to give you a little um, tour of what my closet is looking like right now. So let's go. So up here we have, this is my valuables as in underwear and socks and such, grocery bags, some accessories, hats, purses, shoes. And more shoes down there. Here we have tops and pants, pajamas, dresses, and sweaters back there, and miscellaneous and my vacuum. It is looking like a mess. So I'm going to set you up and we're gonna start going through some stuff. Okay, wow. Oh my god. I really need a tripod. That's my next purchase because you're currently sitting on my gecko's tank, which is fine. We'll figure it out. So let's just start. Can you see my face? I hope so. Move this out of the way. Okay. So if you're not familiar with the uh, KonMari method, basically you just are supposed to hold the item in your hand and see if it sparks joy, makes you happy, and what. Technically, you're supposed to take everything out and lay it all out on the floor, but this is a studio apartment, so we'll figure it out. Definitely a yes, my favorite dress. Keeping goes back in. I'm gonna make a giveaway pile on the ground. ground. This has a little ice creams. I like it. Keep. This is a brand new dress. It's from Eloquy. Eloquy, please sponsor me. No. Um, they have size 14 to 28 so for all you plus size gals give it a look it's really good so this is a keep this is from my sister it's got um you can't see that at all um like little uh fantastic beasts patterns it's not entirely my style but i love wearing it on top of tights when I'm like going to dance or something, so I will keep it. Another new dress, this one's from Old Navy, another store with a great plus size section. This is great for summer, I will be keeping it. Another new dress, wow. <laughs> another new dress. Um, this one I bought for graduation. Um, insert a photo here. And um, it's really pretty. So I'm this dress I absolutely love. 
So it doesn't fit me anymore, and it needs to go to someone who will give it a better home. So I'm going to give it away. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you. Same deal with this dress. It just doesn't fit me anymore, so I don't have to conform to my clothes. They conform to me. They're supposed to fit me. I don't have to change to fit into them. So if you're deciding, oh my god, that all focus. If you're deciding keeping clothes because for when you're skinny or whatever, peace out. This is for you, it's supposed to look good on you, it's supposed to make you feel good. Remember that. This one has a weird situation going on up here in the boobage. It's like an extra flap. Not really feeling that, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This one I like, I think it's from Shein, and it's just like a little leopard number. So I'm gonna keep that. This I bought for <laughs> my sorority. If there's any fine news out there, leave it down below in the comments. Leave me an LIOB. Um, I never wore it and I never will wear it. So goodbye. This is a dress I love. It is from Lane Bryant, which you think grandma, but I dress vintage, so grandma is kind of my style. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to like summer or holiday or occasion, occasion dresses. So, let's see. I am actually going to keep all of them, so. Yeah, on the skirts. I don't have many. This I like. But again, it's too small. Sorry. Okay, so I really only have one skirt. <laughs> one skirt, so. Oh, I have a black one, but I wear that all the time, so. Wow. Okay! What an awesome time for my camera to die. Okay, <laughs> let's um, just continue on. Sorry for the drop in quality. You are now on my phone. <laughs> so let's um, sweaters, rock sweaters. This love till the ends of the earth, so keep. This my mom gave to me, it is cashmere. It's not sparking the most joy, but it's cashmere, so. If I don't wear it this winter, I'll get rid of it. This. I bought at a thrift store and chopped the turtleneck off because turtlenecks are the bane of my whole existence. Um, it came out bad. I don't like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Save the manatees, yeah, Florida. This is an inside out. Um, airy sweatshirt. I love to wear it. It's actually my sister's piece. Hi, if you see this, um, keep it. This is a vintage cardigan. 
with this beautiful embroidering, not embroidering, beading. Um, so that's definitely key. This I bought at the uh, NASA headquarters. Um, it's just a little bomber sweater and I put a NASA patch on the back. I love it, definitely a key. Simple cable knit sweater, key for winter. This is my pride and joy. My authentic, real from the 50s uh, varsity sweater. I, I love it. Definitely cute. It's just a cute little red cardigan and the buttons are um, fake pearls, so cute. Sweater, it's eh. Get rid of it. White cardigan, everybody needs one. Love it. Keep it. It's a little pink number. Um, I like it because of the detailing. Um, if you can see, it has like a little thing down the side. Um, I wear it open over um, jeans, so keep This is um, Voodoo Vixen, which is a great vintage brand. It just has this little uh, martini glasses on it. Super cute. I have this sweater. Um, I don't wear it because I'm afraid to. <laughs> I think I wore it once for like a photo shoot. Um, it's authentic vintage. It has all these beautiful beading details on it. Um, this is just a collector's item for me, so definitely keep it. <laughs> okay. Um, this now, Let's move on to the hanging bit. So, here we go. Leggings, all my leggings I'm gonna keep. I only have two pairs of jeans, so I'm gonna keep those two. What I'm currently wearing on my legs are not jeans. They are jeggings. They're from Walmart, they're amazing, um, cropped, jeans are very vintage and these are great for my plus size baddies so get it. Pajama shirt recently went through my pajamas, so I'm going to leave those as they are. Let's move on to this side. Now, you can't see me, so. What are we going to do about that? I'm going to... Okay, I've returned at a really bad angle, but um, this is a shirt from Shein, um, and the um, sleeves or straps actually are ties, um, and you can tie it as a halter, you can tie it as a regular tank top. This thing's awesome, definitely. Okay, this I bought again from Eloquii, um, and I'm nervous about it because it's a crop top. 
I know I talk a lot about the positivity game, but everyone has their insecurities. And um, I have not worn this outside yet, <laughs> but I want to, so I'm gonna keep it. This is a three quarter sleeve, can't see. Three quarter sleeve, a little like bolero length. Um, it has these ties so it wraps around. It's good for, you know, being a sweater. So, I love this thing. Sweater vest, game is on. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what that means, but sweater vest, if you're vintage and you don't have a sweater vest, um, get on it. This is a little shirt from Shein. It's not really my style, but I think it's cute and I wear it a lot, so keep. This, um, I bought from Amazon because I needed blacks. Um, it's very comfortable, but the, um, little seam that goes under your boobages. Mine are just busting out, so thank you. This is also from Eloquii. It's just a little um, uh, blouse. It has buttons down the front that don't do anything. They're just for show, but they're really cute and the sleeves are nice. Love it. so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Doesn't fit. <laughs> yes! This is from Shein. Um, it's amazing. It's got like little cats and witchiness. I love it. Definitely cute. Little, little sweater number like knit so I like it I don't wear it a ton but if I don't wear it in the next year I'm getting rid of it just another little bolero um, sweater this is full sleeve these things are life savers this is one of my favorite things in the world just a little off the shoulder top um, from Vixen by Michelle Pitt. Um, yeah, very vintage. As you can see, I like red. Um, love it. This is from Eloqui. The design is um, dogs and lip glosses and sunglasses. Um, I think it's really cute. I love, I'm such a sucker for things with a necktie. Um, vintage chic. Cute. This. I picked up, I don't know why it's over here, but I picked this up at the thrift store. Um, it has this little bow detail. I, I almost cursed. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. American Eagle. It's a nice waffle shirt. I am going to keep it to wear as pajamas. So. This is another American Eagle. Um, it's just a black shirt. Um, it's kind of killing, it's really old, so get rid of it. This is my dad's shirt. Um, we call it his pirate shirt. Um, I stole it because I like that it has a collar um, to wear under my sweater vest. And now it's in my possession and it will continue to be in my possession forever and ever and ever. It's just a little white button up um, and there is a um, neck tie that goes with it, so. <laughs> this is an off the shoulder dress, um, but the armholes are too small for my thickness. So I wear it as a like a halter and then I put that little three quarter sleeve wrap over it um, and wear it with leggings and it's a cute outfit. So cute. This is my little vintage, um, this is authentic vintage um, pajama that I wear as a real shirt because why not? This is um, a black shirt. It has like normal fabric and then the bottom's kind of like silky. I like it. 
It's from my mom. It's a long kind of tunic. I've worn it a couple times. Don't really love how it looks on me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is from Shein. Just a little um, cherry tank top number. Really cute, love it. This is also from my mom. I don't wear a lot of plain white shirts, but I feel like I should keep it in case. No, 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 bye. Be tough on yourselves, kids. This I bought from Amazon. Cute, doesn't look good on me. Sorry. That's another Shein number. Just a little um, flower pattern. I wear this a lot. This is kind of a cape. I haven't found the uh, um, like occasion to wear it, but it's so pretty that it's staying. This shirt I love. Um, it doesn't fit me anymore, but I can't seem to get rid of it, so it stays. Another cashmere number. I really love this cold shoulder look, but again, it's cashmere, so it's gonna stay with the other one. And if it doesn't get worn, then it's out. This I got in Florida, um, like a fleur de lis pattern, and then it has a patch on the back. It's really cool. Just a little sweater. No thanks. I love it. This um, I love. I got a little breach on it, but can't even tell. So, heat. And a mock cloth number, brown, little necktie. Wonderful, amazing, stunning, show stopping. Keep. And then on this side, I just have jackets um, and this should be out there. Hey, little, little cherry sweater, love it. And that's that, so let's move on to shoes. Okay, as you can see, there's shoes here on this wall. I recently went through them, so I shouldn't get rid of them too much, but oh, we good to see. These are my little red numbers. They have like a little flower pattern. They're really cute. Stang. These are from my mom, little Mary Janes. I love these things. Oh my God, I'm so short. Okay. These are just Tom's. I bought them from the thrift. Sorry, it's their time. My white kids, if you're a vintage dresser, um, you can't go wrong. And these are just little, like, they're kind of water shoe material and they're great for the beach. I'm um, just little sling black, sling, 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 <laughs> sling backs. <laughs> these are another pair of Keds. Um, these are like slip ons, um, and I love them. So cute. Obviously, you can't not have a pair of saddle shoes, so. These will be in my wardrobe forever and ever. Um, penny loafers, which I also am in love with, which are kind of falling apart, but I can always glue them. That's what glue's for. These are slides. My feet are wide and they don't fit in them, so goodbye. These I love, but they kind of give me blisters. Um, I'm going to try and find a way around that before I give them away. Moccasin slippers and my plain black sneakers. So now, let's go to the floor and see what's happening down here. Okay, where can I put you? That's not so great, but that's what I have. So, maybe the bottom? That's better. Okay.
I never wear these. Little roses, kitten heel, gotta love it. These are tough. Sling bag, um, polka dots, so vintage, but they hurt my feet so bad when I wear them. This is my um, white pointy toed shoe. Not the most comfortable, but they're really cute and they're great for when you need a white shoe. So. Here I have these, I don't know what these are, but they're just like little kind of clog moments. They're very 1920s. Um, I love them. Other pair of white shoes. These are my vintage white shoes. Um, just like a little crisscross with a bow. Kitten heel. Amazing. What did I drop? Ooh. Cinderella hand sanitizer. These are my Doc Martin Mary Janes. I love them. These are my little mules, very 50s, kitten heel. If you do not own Crocs, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are just Crocs flats. Um, they're not the most, you know, eye-catching thing in the world, but they're so comfortable and they're great for work, so. <laughs> These my mom gave me. They're kind of like brand new. They're really not for me. So I'm gonna get rid of them. <laughs> These are Heelys. Um, it's my life's goal to be able to um, Heely. I cannot do it, but I will do it. Maybe. There's things. These are just little vintage trotters. Just a small heel with a cross um, elastic. They're really cute, navy blue. I love them. These um, are akin to my red numbers from the wall, um, except they are a little heel, and I also love these. Another pair of mules, these are like little feather mules, like if you had one of those, like, my husband mysteriously died, um, robes, you would wear these. These are my little 60s boots. Um, they're just, um, an ankle booty, and, um, they're very comfortable, and I love them. These are, um, another pair of black patent leather, um, penny loafers and just my normal running shoes, running sneakers, I guess. We have a few more pairs. Uggs, <laughs> they're ugly, but they're great in the winter, so I keep them. These are my combat boots. Um, again, not very vintage, maybe it's 90s vintage, but um, sometimes you just need a boot. And until I find a better one, these are what is happening. These are um, from the thrift also. They have this little um, beading on them. They're very cute. And lastly, my Sorel snow boots. So. That's it. That's everything in my closet. Um, you know what? I didn't have as much as I thought I did, really. Um, and so I'm going to um, fold, organize, and um, come back to you with the final product.